Hey everybody, welcome back to Row Country. Today I have for you yet another Dollar Tree haul. That's right, I jumped out to my local Dollar Tree to pick up some items. Now, my haul today is more of a restock, but I do have some really cute finds in this video as well. Um, you know, with everything that was going on in the country, we did uh, go through a lot of things that we had prior stocked because I use Dollar Tree to stock items in my home. We were so lucky that we had those on hand. We didn't have to run out to the store when it was not really necessary for us to do that. So we were very lucky. And now I'm back in the restock mode because everything is really starting to open up now. Uh, I just wanna remind everybody, please stay safe. You know, wear a mask if that's what you choose to do. Uh, but you know, guys, the stores are opening back up and it's a little more fun now to be out because people are around and, you know, things are sort of trying to get back to normal and I am all for that. So today's video, I actually went to two Dollar Trees, one in Steubenville, Ohio, and one in Cambridge, Ohio. The addresses for those stores will be in the description box below. As well in the description box, I have timestamps for you because I know not everybody likes to see some of the items that I pick up. Of course, I want you to please try to watch the entire video if you can, but I understand that people like to jump around in the video, so that's what that timestamp is down there for you. You will find timestamps in all of my Dollar Tree haul videos, and I hope that you find those helpful. Today's goal for this video is 2,500 likes. I really hope that you do like this video if you like this con kind of content. That way I know to keep bringing it to you. Please give me a thumbs up. Please share this video with friends and family so that they know what's going on in Row Country. And by the way, if you're new here, hi, I'm Lisa. You have arrived in Row Country. I really do hope that you will consider subscribing. Hit that little button down below and let YouTube know that you want to see my videos when they come out. Uh, if you're returning, guys, thank you again so, so much for supporting my channel and coming and watching yet another one of my videos. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump in and we'll get started on this haul. Okay, so jumping right in, we're gonna start out with the household items. These are some things that I picked up in the past. These are some repeat buys, but I do have a new find that I was excited to find and share with you. So without further ado, let's jump into some of the returning things. Uh, one of the first things that my husband always makes a beeline for the back wall at Dollar Tree to stock up on some of the cleaning items that we like to use around here. The works, guess what guys? It works, that's why we buy it. Uh, we think it's a great deal for a dollar. You do get one and a half pints or 24 fluid ounces of the works. One of the nice things about this is the curved tip makes it really easy to get this stuff where it needs to go around the bowl, but we like it, it works, and I definitely recommend this. Every time we go, we try to pick up one or two of these, and so again, to just stock up our supplies. Um, as we do that, we you know kind of taper off and don't buy as much. The next thing that we always pick up whenever we see it is the Dawn Platinum. This is the special value. You get seven fluid ounces. Now, I know some people are like, wait a minute, you could go to Walmart and you could get a way bigger bottle. That's true. However, uh, I don't have that kind of space underneath my kitchen sink. And this is where we do store our Dawn dish detergent. So I have several of these small bottles. I do try to keep them on hand. When everything was going on, we almost ran out. And then when we went back to the store, they had different types of Dawn, but they didn't have the special value platinum. So now that we're seeing it again, we're grabbing a couple bottles whenever we hit the Dollar Tree. Uh, another thing that we picked up is this Lysol. It is the clean and fresh. I love the smell of this and I love the way that it works. Also, it's Lysol, so it's a name brand that I trust. Um, but what we like to do, it, because it's concentrated, it's small which means I have room under my sink to store things like this. And with everything going on, it seems like uh, we really did try around our home to really sanitize and keep things like cleaner than normal, I guess. Um, we got a little spooked, I would say, with that whole thing that was going on. So 
anytime we see these now we're picking these up too just to keep these on hand and again we went through like our pine saw and other disinfecting uh, cleaners and so we're stocking up on that we did find a package of the six these are the buddy nail guard sponges and i'm hoping that there's not going to be a lot of feedback from the light but you do get six this is from scrub buddies you get six in the package for a dollar and we were surprised to see these in massive quantities at our store in fact they had like five or six boxes of these stacked and the top one is the one that was open so they had like three and three it was just amazing because you never really find a lot of the bonus stuff but right now is the time where dollar tree does have bonus items out so you get more quantity for your money definitely keep your eyes out for those bonus packs these don't i don't think qualify as a bonus pack but we were surprised to see them because lately we've only seen the package of one or two um sponges but what we like about these i'm going to try to show you here is there is a scrub little green part it's the scrubby part here and then on the back you do have the regular um, sponge part for cleaning up and it, there is an indentation here where you can grab and hold it they call it nail guards we really like these we like these for cleaning not necessarily for dishes but for cleaning around the house and scrubbing out the um, sinks and things like that so these were a great find we like to pick these up whenever we see them another find of course I went back and they had more of these storage bags you get two extra large in this package and then you get three large in this package and on the back are the sizes that are available at the Dollar Tree now I almost never see that this uh, extra extra large but guys these have more room and space in these than you would think and if you are doing any spring cleaning and putting things away uh, these are a great option to the vacuum bags. If you use bins and you really don't need that vacuum seal, I definitely recommend these for a dollar. You know, like I said, two of the extra large and three of the large. These are great items. They have this little um, handle, as you can see that she's holding there, and it has a ziplock on the top. So you put your items in, you can ziplock it almost to the end, kind of roll it up, get some of that air out of there and then finish rolling it and stick it in one of those bins. At least that's the way that we do it around here. In row country, we put things in our basement and I like to have that little extra layer of protection and these are a really great find to help me with that. So I also picked up some three-way bulbs. We really like these. These are by Sunbeam. This is a three-way way bulb. Uh, they say that they are, um, the estimated energy cost to use these is right here on the package and it tells you what brightness it is so if you have one of those lamps that you have to twist three times or four times um you know the first time you turn it on you get according to this 520 brightness and then you bump up to 1230 and then you go to 1750 that's the light the most light you get out of it and then you turn your lamp one more time and it turns off so just remember if you have a three-way light these are the kinds of lights that you will want to get for these otherwise you know you won't be getting maximum use out of your lamps so um yeah definitely a good buy for a dollar now usually when i go to the dollar tree i pick myself up a few of these led bulbs and these are the 60 watt warm white but i did find oh my gosh the daylight bulbs guys these are so much brighter they just uh and they don't use much energy which is why i really like using these led lights but if your dollar tree is stocking these daylight bulbs you need to get out and get them because when they disappear they disappear so i actually did pick myself up a few things at the dollar tree this time uh this is more ho um, health and beauty items so i wanted to share with you uh yeah my back has been bothering me again <laughs> and uh i also have a son whose back goes out fairly frequently it just depends so we like to have these on hand and anytime i see the extra large size i pick those up 
And I did go ahead and pick up two this time. I don't know if you've ever used these. They do have a menthol -y smell to them. They go on sort of cool and then they warm up your muscles and kind of release a lot of that tension. So this is nice to have on hand if you are the type of person who maybe pushes themselves a little too hard and then at the end of the day, you're like, oh, my aching back. These are a great option for you. At least they are for me. I always recommend these to anybody and for $1, you get one at the Dollar Tree. Again, I picked up two. Okay, so another thing that I picked up is some e.l.f. eyeshadow. I am not a big makeup person, but I am finding that I am enjoying playing around with makeup a little more than I had maybe in my younger years. Uh, so I'm really liking that I'm finding the e.l.f. brand at the Dollar Tree. You can find these for the same money, a dollar, at Walmart. You can find these um, in maybe some of your local grocery stores if they are carrying this brand. I think I've even seen these in like a Rite Aid or a CVS in my area. But this is the e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow, and it is called Golden Goddess. That's the color that I found this time. And what I really like about this is it is like, you can't mess this up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try to bring it in close, guys. It tells you what color should be applied to what area of your eye. And for somebody like me who didn't wear a lot of makeup to begin with, and now I'm finding that I want to play around with it a little bit, and I have been actually watching some YouTube tutorials on how to do makeup. This is a great find, I think, because like I said, it tells you, I mean, you can't mess that up, guys. It tells you exactly where to put the color on your eyelids. So I think that's a great find. You get four colors and that little applicator for $1 at the Dollar Tree. Um, another thing that I've been picking up, uh, or at least in the last year, but this is my first time sharing it with you guys, are these small containers, and literally they're that big, small containers of lash mascara, okay? And these are, I don't know, 0 0.20 fluid ounces, it says, and these come in different style of brush. So this one happens to be a curved brush, but I know that there were more on the peg and they were different kinds. Now, again, I know you can probably get a better deal of mascara, maybe somewhere else, a larger tube or what have you. But as somebody who has problems with her eyes, and I have for a long, long time, I find that I am forced when I'm doing makeup and I'm wearing makeup more often, and I have the smaller tube, I really am forced to use it and discard it. I found when I was going through some of my older makeup from a while ago, I found mascara that was like super old and that's kind of dangerous to use on your eyes, guys. So this has really forced me, this size has really forced me to pay attention to what I have on stock in my makeup and to rotate it the way that really you should. And I like this brand because it's kind of lightweight on my eyelashes. I don't feel like I'm wearing mascara that's really clumpy or anything like that. I'm super happy with this LA Colors, and I recommend that you give it a try if you're looking for a different kind of mascara. Also, oh, and before I skip from that, just know that you can keep the lash brush and you can donate those to help animals in the wild. So if you just Google mascara brush and animals in the wild or something like that, it'll give you an address. So you can actually clean these and mail these out and pay it forward for those people that are dealing with animals in the wild who need um, extra cleaning up, maybe from oil spills and things like that. They like to use these brushes on those animals. So just a tip. Another thing that I found, which I'm really liking, I've been trying this BB cream from um, Sassy and Chic. And I'm kind of surprised by it because uh, some of the makeup that I've used in the past has been like Maybelline and L'Oreal. I've also used um, like Mary Kay, things like that. But I'm finding that I'm really liking this BB cream. And I did go ahead and pick up a medium and a light because I learned from Oprah Winfrey way long ago that makeup is meant to be blended. It's not meant to just go on in one color. And I like to mix the two of these just based on the part of my face that I'm putting them on. So that's another tip for you. 
but this is the sassy and chic and it is the bb cream and i got the light which is number one and then i got the medium which is number two and it looked like they were having quite a bit of stock in these in both stores that i went to so definitely try to find those if you're looking for some lightweight good feeling base makeup for you um, another thing that i picked up for myself is this cute little hair wrap from remington and there are more it says more ways to wear but what i liked about it is it's got some sort of a it's got some something inside of there that makes it moldable like maybe a, a wire of some sort and you can wrap this around your hair i'm going to show you here in the back you can wrap it around your hair and wear it one of these ways they show you here in the front that you can wear it like that and even just around your wrist but i really thought that the fabric was really cute it's super lightweight but not not super sheer but it's very lightweight and i really thought that the flowers on that were just pretty so i picked it up and i thought i'd give that a try i'm trying to do di different things with my hair right now um another one that i picked up is the scunsy and this is the <laughs> animal print which i love this this i felt like could is almost a neutral now so you can wear maybe just something super plain but then add this to your hair it would be super cute so i thought that would be cute and then i also picked up the one that i'm wearing today in my hair now uh that was another one that i found and i can't remember if it was the scunsy brand or if it was remington it might have even been something different but i know that they were hanging on the peg next to each other and i do try to wear a lot of like black and white and i thought this would be super cute and I really like it because it's very soft, like there's no boning in it, no no wires, nothing. And I just thought, here I'll show you back. I thought it was really cute. And I like it because my bangs are a little longer than I'm used to. So I like to be able to pull some of my hair away from my face and kind of tuck my bangs back so that they're not flying around in my face. And with the weather the way that it's been lately, you know, we've been driving around and we've had the windows down and the sunroof open. I've been exposed to the sun a little more than I normally have been in the past. And, you know, these cute little bands keep my hair in place and I don't look like a total wreck when I get out of the car from running around. Okay, so stay tuned because I've got more coming for you. Okay, so next up are some of the craft items that I found um yeah so we'll jump into those okay but i want to let you know if you watched my last video you did see me haul one of these heidi swap i actually hauled two in my last haul and i got myself a number four because i have four children but um, i wanted to show you i found more <laughs> and i was kind of excited because they were different sizes so this one that i found i found this one at the cambridge ohio store just know the Steubenville store, they're gone, guys. And the Cambridge store is dwindling down, but they did have an entire end cap, and I'll have a picture in uh, the end of the video here, some of those things that I found, but they were over in that store near the cards and the gift wrap, okay? So that's where they were, just on an end cap, just sort of as you started down the aisle, there they were. So I did find this one, and I hope that the glare is not bad on this, guys. But I wanted to show you for this particular one, and I didn't get any others like this. Uh, it has some washi tape, I guess, is what that's called, um, in these green colors, which I thought they were cute. I may not use it. This is the at sign, and I, again, I'm redoing my office. So I'm, I've got office stuff coming up in a little bit, uh, but I wanted this and I'm so happy that I found the at sign because I want to do a sign for my business, Row Country. So I was so, so excited to find this. Uh, but I really like the fact that it comes with its own washi tape too, along with the bulb covers and the lights. So it's another marquee light kit, uh, but it came with some extra pieces that I had not seen in any of the others that I found. And I am a... Um, planner I'm a happy planner and anytime I find any sort of washi tape or anything like that I mean I just flip out because this is a color that I just don't have in my stash as it is so for me that was a win-win but these are super customizable um, you can google these and find that they're like 
12 to 14 dollars normally and i picked this up at the dollar tree for a dollar but i also found another number four how cute is this but i wanted to compare this is why i brought out the one from last week i wanted you to see that the four they're different sizes how cute is that right so if you happen to come across the smaller one maybe you don't have a lot of space maybe you're just into the smaller items this is a good option for you uh, but just know that there are two sizes available and right now they're at the Dollar Tree for one dollar run out to that Cambridge store guys if you're in the area I hope you find them because they are disappearing fast that is a super great find and a great savings on these uh, one thing that I picked up to do some crafting I think but I may just keep these for my coffee bar are some party straws uh, the straws are coming back and I really like that they have them in the red and white and also in the blue and white now in these packages you get 18 paper straws um, you know people are very conscious lately about the environment so a paper straw is sometimes the way to go if you don't have the metal straws um, I've seen people use these on wreaths for red you know red white and blue or patriotic decor that was an idea that I was thinking about using these for as well but I went ahead and I picked up two each of the red and the blue and then I also found in the uh, um, in the Aloha section no the luau section I found in the luau section metallic paper straws which are so awesome. I found some copper colored ones that are now on my coffee bar. If you haven't seen my coffee bar, it's linked in the description box below. I try to do a new coffee bar decor video every season. And I did put the copper ones out there with that coffee bar now, but I also found the metallic silver. And I really hope that in this packaging, this is coming off to you and that you are getting what this is. But these are absolutely beautiful and I only found the one of the silver I know they have gold and they have copper I picked up the copper I picked up the silver really like it and again you get 18 for your dollar at the Dollar Tree now I also found these cube trays and these are PBA free ice cube trays at the Dollar Tree right now guys and these are in the summer section at least in both of my stores that's where I saw them I picked it up in the navy blue but they had like the teal and I think there was an orange I'm not don't quote me on that uh, but they had different colors I like the navy it just kind of goes with my kitchen and I don't use these for ice cubes I actually use them to make dog treats for my dogs and what I really like about them if you can see here these are the type of bottoms that are not completely plastic so when you go to push out the ice cube you push from the bottom and everything just kind of comes out easily on its own I thought that was a great find for a dollar because I know at Bed Bath and Beyond I would pay like six dollars for two of them no I'm not doing that anymore so I picked up these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and these are a great find they're perfect for the dog treats that I make for my dogs okay so I said I wasn't going to do it but I did it. I picked up some more of these lights. I don't know, guys. I just feel like when they disappear out of the store, I'm like sad. I don't know what that is. And it takes a while for these to come back in. And it usually is spring, summertime when you see these. So I went ahead and I picked up the copper lights. The last haul that I did, I picked up one of the silver or a couple of the silver. This time I picked up another copper. I never know what I'm going to do with a particular DIY until I'm actually into it. And, you know, if I can't find my silver lights, I'll have my copper lights to pull from, or I may do a DIY that I want copper lights and not silver. You know how it is, guys. You're crafting too. I know you do. So, you know what I'm talking about. But this is a great find for a dollar. So, I picked those up. I did find the Baker's Twine from Crafter Square. Now, what I like about these is the multitude of colors that you get. And you get three in a package. So these are more of the summery colors, some of that lime green and that pink. And I'm guessing that's a purple. Yep, that's purple. So to me, that's like um, summertime colors. 
And then this one is a red and a light blue and a dark blue. This looks like to me faded jeans and these look like your nice jeans with some red and white twine. And then these colors are more for fall, my favorite. Um, but these are brown, some orange, and some yellow. But that yellow is a muted yellow. It's not that bright, bright summer yellow. Um, but what I also like about these, guys, I mean, I don't use a lot of twine in my, in my decor. I'm probably going to step up my game in that because now I have stock of it. But these are so pretty just the way they are. And if you're decorating a crafting space, you could put these right into one of the small mason jars and they would look really cute displayed too so yeah there's an idea for you okay guys but this is what you get at the dollar tree you get three in a package it says there's a total of 3.28 feet 10 millimeters times three so each one of these gets 10 mils and if you're a math person you know exactly how long of a piece of string you get i am not that mathy and so I'm not gonna try to figure it out, but I think it's a really good, cute find at the Dollar Tree for the crafting people out there. Another thing that I found, and again, guys, I have pictures of things that I did not get, and I did not get a lot of stuff, but I did find a set, but the, you buy them, you know, you purchase these separately. I did find a set of the metallic markers, and there are five different colors that I found. So I'm gonna try to hold these up. Here we go, ready? Okay, so I found five colors. I found white. I don't know how white is metallic, but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try these on a video. I'm gonna do a let's figure it out how this works kind of a video, and I'm going to swatch these, so stay tuned for that. But I found white. I also found a, this I think is more of a rose gold, could be copper. And then this one in the center is silver. And then this might be rose gold. This is more of a rosy color. Maybe that is copper, maybe that is rose gold. I'm gonna look. And then this one is gold. So I'm looking to see if the color is listed on the marker and it doesn't really look like they've put names of colors on these, which, you know, guys, Dollar Tree, come on. We kind of need to know that, right? So I'm not really sure. You tell me what you think. Rose gold and copper? I, I guess that's what I'm gonna go with. But anyway, I found five different colors hanging on the peg and I just was drawn to them. It was one of those things where I'm walking through Crafters Square and I'm like, oh, cool. I mean, I've seen the chalk markers, but I've not seen these metallics and I haven't seen, um, definitely haven't seen like a set of five different colors. So I spent five bucks on, on pens, which is not a big deal because as somebody who does planning and I use planners, uh, pens are expensive and I thought those were really pretty. And then one of the last cute little tchotchke things that I picked up, um, I live in the country, this is row country, and what is row country without a cow and a tractor? <laughs> you tell me guys, right? Look how pretty those are. I've seen people haul these and I've been looking and looking and looking. These showed up just miraculously at both stores at the same time. So I don't know if my store is a little behind with everybody else, but here we go. So these are little shadow boxes and the color inside of here is more of like a teal green and it says farm sweet farm. And it's got the picture or the profile of the cow. And then on the top, it's got the, the cow and guys, <laughs> I love cows, I just do, okay? But that red tractor is everything to me and it says farm fresh. And these are just gonna go sort of around my house somewhere. Probably going to try to put these into the kitchen, into some of my decor in the kitchen. But I thought these were a super cute find for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Another wish list. Another wish list item that I found at my Dollar Tree finally are the square wreath forms. 
This is another floral and garden item. So it just says wreath form. Guys, I don't know how big these are and I was kind of surprised when I picked them up at the Dollar Tree just how big they were. But these are over 12 inches, so it looks like they're gonna be 13, 13 by 13. And that's a great find at the Dollar Tree. I was so excited when I turned the corner and there they were. Uh, they had plenty on the peg. I went ahead and picked up two of those. Awesome, awesome find for us crafters and I have plenty of ideas for a wreath for those. I always try to pick up a pair of scissors anytime I go. I left this in the hands of my husband this time and he picked up the eight inch all-purpose Westcott scissors again for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Another thing that I found, which I was super excited to find, were these star tea lights. Um, a while back, couple seasons ago, guys, Dollar Tree put out star-shaped little uh, containers, and I don't have them pulled out because I haven't pulled out the decor for my home yet, but they came red, white, and silver, I think it was. I've always tried to use those uh, and like to use those around the 4th of July with a regular tea light, but I was excited to find the uh, little star shaped because those fit right down inside of those um, little luminaries or tea light containers shaped like the star. And these came in different colors. So they had silver, they had blue, and they had red. And that blue and red was sort of metallic. I went ahead and picked up the silver because I felt like it would go with any one of the things that I drop it down into. So that was super, super cute. Okay, so coming up next is a lot of things that have to do with my home office, and I hope you'll stay tuned for that. And then I have one last bag to share with you. Okay, so now we're into the home office uh, portion of the video. I am currently working on my entire home office space right now. I have painted my desks and I've used marble contact paper to cover the tops of them and it is working out so well. I do have pictures, I don't have a video of that, but I do have some pictures, not in this video, but in an upcoming video where I'm gonna share my office space a little bit with everybody and show the befores and afters. I'm just loving how it's turning out. I'm doing white marble I'm also with tones of gray and then I'm doing navy and rose gold as my color scheme in that area of, of where I work. And I just think it's turning out so, so nice. So I have to tell you guys, when I saw these, I'm gonna open it because I don't want, I don't want any of the feedback from the plastic to take away from this. When I saw these, I could not believe it. Guys, they came out with the collapsible storage containers which are 10 and a half by 11 by 10 and a half in marble. What? I mean, I thought these were awesome and those are like um, burlap sort of, that feel material, but that goes really great in my craft area and I love these for storage. But then these came out and they're gray on the back. They have a gray tab and the front facing part of this is in that marble. And oh my gosh, it was like Dollar Tree was in my head when I was thinking about starting the makeover on my office area. And then I walked in the store and there they were. <laughs> so I had to get, I had to, listen, it was literally a necessity. This is a necessity. Sure, I had things that I could use to, you know, for storage in my office space, but I had to have these and I picked them up. I picked up five. I picked up a total of five of these. And you guys, I think that is a great, great deal. If you have any of those little cubby containers at your house, the Dollar Tree makes it super easy to change out your decor and still use that functional piece of furniture that you picked up maybe a while ago. So I really, really like these and I'm so excited that I found them. That is a new find for me at my Dollar Tree. Okay, moving on because this is really getting long. I found, and I have pictures of the other item, but I found these, this three set, set of three, sorry, set of three notebooks from Jot, okay? And again, I'm, I'm trying to really stock up on things that I will use, but I think they're super cute. And this one is a koala bear. Koala bears are my faves. Okay, and it says just chillin'. 
and here's what the back of it looks like. And on the inside, you get lined paper. And guys, um, this is like, I don't know, uh, purple, the color purple lines. But guess what? It's Dollar Tree, and for me, it's upside down. Like, here's the, here's the guy. Isn't he cute? Oh my God, that koala bear is adorable. Just chill, it says, but the larger margin is at the bottom. I don't know what's up with that Dollar Tree, but it's okay, I'm still gonna use it. And then I found, in this package, you get three of these. In this package is this cute little um, cat but the margin is correct on this. And this looks to be more of a blue paper line. And then some sloth, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, look, look how cute. And again, just your lined paper. So this is a set of three that came from Jot. So, so cute. It would be 100% perfect if this one wasn't stapled upside down, but I'm all right with it, guys, I am. I am a sucker for sticky notes and I found a couple different ones. This one says dot every T and cross every I with some really cute um, circles, polka dots, so, so cute. This one says <clears throat> always the agenda, always the agenda. I don't know, but I liked it. I thought it was so, so cute. So I went ahead and I picked that up too. Um, another kind of sticky note, but this is a magnetic piece. So the magnet on the back and it says coffee on my mind. And I really like the floral on this. There was one other style and I went ahead and took a picture of that and I will have that after the video. Um, I am always grabbing, always grabbing sticky notes, always. And when I found this little beauty at the Dollar Tree, I went ahead and I picked it up too. What I really like about this is this larger piece on this side, but it is a sticky note, guys. So I can make maybe my whole entire week's plan of how I'm going to tackle every day this week. And then anytime I need to make some notes, these are smaller flags, and then these are more of a square, and then this is also a thin long, but I really like the flowers on this. And what's really cute about this, I know other people have also hauled this, but what's really cute is it has some um, hook and loop tape. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's got some of that on there and it just closes up and it keeps everything in one place and it's really, really pretty. So I, I went ahead and I picked those up. Um, I also found, I know these are not new, but they are new to my store because I've seen these hauled and I was hoping that I would find them and I actually found them and I found four different ones. So I don't know if there's a fifth out there or a sixth out there, I don't know. But I found a pink one, a burgundy one, orange, and this teal blue. And what these are are notebooks, but they also come with a sticker sheet. So you just remove this and you have stickers that you can use in your planner or in your little notebook as well. But the notebook is lined lined paper and on this one it's more of like planner type stickers which i thought were super cute they're calling this a journal it says you've got this um i love the arrow big plans love those coffee cups totally had to pick that up just for the coffee cup stickers so so cute the burgundy one is also more of to me sort of planner okay it says get it done important i love that and sign get creative, journal things. What does that say? Make a plan. That's really, really cute. Also lined paper. And the, the color of the ink on the lines sort of matches the color of the book itself. It did that, I think, too, with the, yeah. So you'll notice in the blue, that light blue, the colors match. So Dollar Tree is really taking time to pay attention to the details on this, which I love, but these are Greenbrier brands, so these are Dollar Tree. So here's orange, orange lines, and then the stickers on the front. Cute little flamingo, right? Stay wild. Wild and free, sunshine on my mind. <laughs> Hello, these are really adorable. Look at those little drinks and that hibiscus flower, is that what that is, I think? Pineapple, so cute and summery. 
orange lines, orange book. But this one is my favorite. This is a pink one. The lines are a pink. And then inside you get, or outside you get the sloth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. Look. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around. Sloth is my spirit animal. Hasn't it been lately for a lot of us? I mean, when things kind of went the way they went, none of us could really do what we do on a normal daily basis. I know I slowed down a lot, so I totally became the sloth. I'll do it tomorrow was my motto. Um, Anti-social. No, yeah, anti-slowshal. I, I don't know what that says. Slowshal, S-L-O-W-C-I-A-L. Not sure, <laughs> but it says anti-slowshal. Well, if you're a sloth, you would be pro-slowshal, right? I don't know. Anyway, lazy day. And it's so cute because on these, there's foiling and then there's like just regular paper sticker. So Dollar Tree really did pay attention when they put these together. I did go ahead and pick up the four that I found and you know, like I said, I don't know if there's any more, but these are so, so cute for $1. Now, remember I said that I'm doing my office space in marble, navy blue, and also in like a rose gold color. These notebooks, oh my God, they are called, they are literally called chunky glitter notebooks. And if you know me, you've been watching some of my crafting videos, I am not afraid of the glitter guys. These are gorgeous, gorgeous. And I don't know, they're spiral bound in this rose gold color. And then you get the glitter on the front. And then you do get 70 sheets of paper. And the paper is sort of a, um, there. it's not crisp white. It's more of a yellow with a gray line. Oh, guys, I mean, I talk a lot about functional decor this is functional decor at its finest. I could literally leave these on a shelf just as decor because they're absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. So they had different colors. They had pink, which is totally different than this color. They had a pink, they had a, a teal blue, I think it was. Colors and photos coming up at the end of the video. I found some stickers super cute this is a new one to me this is by crafter square and these are more of the rays i don't know if you're catching the detail or the profile on these or not and i'm sorry if not uh, and i really hope that the feedback from the lamp is okay but it says nature it says lovely i love this um almost lime green color look at that cute little mason jar with the flowers Dollar Tree is really, really coming at it with these paper crafts from uh, Crafters Square. And those are so, so pretty. I also found some numbers. Now I'm just gonna show you these together. I did pick them up because one is more of a pastel and then the other one is more of a primary color, but it's also got some of the um, animal print on them. And I just thought they were so, so cute. This says you get 92 pieces on these for this one. So you get 92 in this and you get 168 stickers on this particular one for a dollar. One of the last things for my office space that I picked up, guys, is a couple pencil pouches because I have a lot of pens that I need to sort of um, organize and put together in one space. But these are canvas on the back, and you'll notice that they have the grommets, so you can put these in a binder if you wanted to. Super cute. I found these in the school section. Um, and I have pictures of others that I found that I did not buy. But this is called a pencil pouch, but look at this. <gasps> Flashy, guys. I found it in the yellow, and then I also found it in lavender. Lavender, <gasps> oh my gosh. I started to pull these out and the light hit these and I was like, oh, I gotta find more, I gotta find more. And these were the two that I found, yellow, so summery, so adorable, and they're not gonna be out on display, but they are going to keep particular styles of pens 
that I have, because again, my whole planning world, everything blew up. I have all these supplies. I need a place to keep them and know that when I'm grabbing for one thing, that is what I'm looking for. And I'm not sorting through a lot of different pens to find the one style of pen that I'm looking for for my planner. So I thought these would be super, super cute. They have a zip top here at the top, zip top at the top guys. They have a zip right here, just opens up, canvas inside. Oh. Dollar Tree. I mean, you just never know what you're going to find there. And when you find it, oh my goodness, I'm loving it. Okay, guys, I got just a couple more things and then the pictures will be coming up at the end of the video. Okay, guys, so I have just a couple more really cute finds at the Dollar Tree this time. I did go ahead and pick up one of these glider, uh, gliders at the Dollar Tree. It includes stickers. It says it's a foam glider it had two different colors white and I picked up the gray it says that it also comes with stickers like I mentioned but it has a 22 inch wing span and I know my grandson is gonna love putting this together decorating it his way and then taking it out on the property and throwing it around and I thought for one dollar you know I know it's a dollar toy guys but oh my gosh this thing is super thick when you um, pull this out, I, I'm going to go ahead and open it. I don't think he'll mind. I'll tell him I did it for the haul. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, this looks to be so well made. Here's the body of this little glider. And I think he's really going to enjoy this. I really do. He likes to put things together. Here are the stickers that come with it. So these little fire uh, flames. So, so cute. So, so cute. And on the back it says super glider and it tells you how to put it together and look at this it even has the profile of the um pilot so adorable and then here's the pe one of the pieces that he needs to use to put it together and then it comes with two more pieces they're fairly thick i feel like it's going to be an okay thing and if it if, you know guys if it ends up not lasting an entire day it was a dollar but but I think it will because it looks like it's really good quality and I think um, he's really gonna enjoy putting that together so I was happy to find that in the toy section again gray or white depending on how you want to go but that's what I got and it looks like this in the package foam glider okay so another couple things that I picked up guys um, 4th of July is right around the corner. I've been doing a lot of decor outside. Like I said, I've been outside a little more than I should be, uh, just given some of the things that go on with my skin when I'm exposed to the sun. But um, I needed a flag and I found this one at the Dollar Tree. Now it is meant to hang. I mean, this is a big one, guys, okay? I'm gonna lean back and let you see that. Uh, but it is a Greenbrier, it's just called Patriotic Flag. And I was looking for a flag to hang on one of my flag hangers outside. Uh, but I was going into like different stores. I had been in Lowe's, uh, a couple other places. And for a size of flag like this, and some of them, yes, were a little more, you know, decorative, had some wording on it or whatever. But for a flag this size, they wanted $12 and $14. And I just wanted a plain American flag. So I was really glad to see that the Dollar Tree had this. You could hang this up just like it is on the little string that they give you. You could hang it up on your door and be, and call it a day, right? It's got this really nice um, piece inside that has the ball ends on it and the string is tied there on each side. But I plan to take this off of this piece and just slip it over top of my flag hanger and hang my American flag outside as part of my outdoor decor for the patriotic season, which I try to do before 4th of July and all the way through to fall. Uh, my father is a Vietnam veteran. Thank you, dad, if you're watching for your service and welcome home. Um, he is the inspiration for the decor style that I use around my house a lot. So. Um, if you're watching dad, and I hope you are, give me a thumbs up. Uh, that's where my whole red, white, and blue comes from. And so I was super happy to find a dollar flag at the Dollar Tree that I didn't have to spend 14 or $15 for something that I might not necessarily love as much as I love a regular plain American flag. 
And finally, well, no, not finally. Actually, this is a repeat buy. I shared these before. I did pick up another set of three of these American flags, again, with the ball top on it. They're called mini three pack, uh, patriotic mini flags. I like to drop these down into my potted plants just to add some extra patriotic decor to my outdoor decor. So I picked up some of those. And then finally in the thumbnail, guys, if you saw the thumbnail, maybe that's why you clicked, but I found these at my Dollar Tree. These are sort of holographic uh, wind pinwheels. They're called, they're pinwheels. And they are so adorable. They turn like that. They are super well made. I was so shocked um, at the lack of plastic that came on these. These are more um, metal. So I'm gonna show you up super close. The petals on these have a metal piece inside and that metal piece comes into this plastic piece. That plastic piece is attached to this piece on the back and then it has a pointed end that you can stick down into the ground or into a pot of plant or what have you. And then as the wind catches them, they're awesome. And I just, I don't know, I've never really put these out in my outside decor before, but as I was standing at the Dollar Tree and I realized, you know, that they had a red one and they do look like flowers with the yellow insert. They had a red one. And then of course the white one. But then when I saw the blue one, <laughs> I decided I wanted to make it part of my outdoor decor for this patriotic season. So I went ahead and I picked up one of each. Guys, they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Super inexpensive, very well made, super cute for your outdoor decor. And if you're gonna do something a little different for your patriotic decor this year, might I recommend these cute little pinwheels to go in your decor. And guys, that's it. That is my haul. Stay tuned. Like I said, this is a long one. I'm sorry in advance, but when I go to the Dollar Tree, I really take my time to peruse the aisles, see what's new, take some pictures of things that maybe I haven't seen before or paid attention to before. And that's what's coming up now. Things that I passed on, didn't bring home. Maybe there are some pictures of things I actually did bring home and put in today's haul. Sorry for the duplication, okay? But I just wanna say thank you so, so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I want to let you know that there will be a giveaway coming up when my channel hits 2,500 subscribers. Right now, we're at like 1930 at the time of the recording of this video. So please share my channel with friends and family. Let's get the subscription base up. Let's bring the family up, bring in some more people. This is a great little community that we have here and I really appreciate the love and support of my of the people that come here and watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. And I hope that if you're not yet subscribed, that is something you will consider doing and become a member of the Row Country family here on YouTube. But once we get up to 2,500 subscribers, I am going to do a giveaway that's going to include a Dollar Tree gift card and some little things that I picked up along the way and kind of put back knowing that I wanted to share those with family members from Row Country once I hit 2,500 subscribers. Okay, so, Stay tuned, here comes the pictures. And until next time guys, take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.